keep working it out. Go down the ground. Go over, go over. Oh, it's good. That's only halfway there now. Get your hands up and look back. It may be hot out there. We're playing for a bloody premiership here. Yeah. Not making a nine point win. Let's make it a 90. It's like we get hurt. Throw it in. Nice, guys.
this very vital third quarter in this game which sees Penguin leading by the neat four goals, 9-4 to 5-4. Tim Allen gets the tap down but Ivanov knocks it forward. It's tapped forward again. Now a free kick's been pulled out and it's going to go Ivanov's way. Well, Ivanov's definitely carrying an injury. Where, Tig, on the leg? Yes, he is, Bob. He's uh, certainly he's got to get himself out of the centre. Uh, Maguire's got the football, you're right, Tig, looking behind the play, and uh, Maguire's kick goes nowhere in particular, and Craig Mitchell, who's, uh, as I said earlier, has played an absolute blind on that half-back flank. Kicking lets him down a little bit, but he's kicked that time, uh, is marked over there on the far side by uh, Keep. Keep sends the ball far side of the ground, underneath the ball is Johnny Corpershock. He pulls it down, not paid by the umpire. Wilcox chips in, gets it towards Barrett. Barrett and Kitty. Uh, he can't. Uh, he gets a, a half-distance kick there. It was Ennis, uh, not Kitty at all. But Peter French picks it up in the middle of the ground. He's lost control of it. Ivanov tries to get it. He's caught. He loses control of the ball. Kicked off the ground, but uh, thrown away there by somebody or other. And the free kick's going to go Penguins' way. It's going to be taken by Kevin Brown. Trying to work out who's off for the Blues, uh, Bob. Hawkey uh, Brown. Oh, started on the interchange, you're right, Tiger. And that's his first kick for the game. He sends the ball up. Oh, Ward in front of the pack takes a strong chest mark. Smithton is still uh, keeping uh, Peter Corpershock off, Tiger. The ball goes back, Scotty Knights takes the marks, looks for the hand pass, finds it in the prestige of Thorpe, who swapped wings. Uh, and his kick's not a good one, either. oh yes it is, I couldn't see from uh, the pole right in front of me, and lurking down there was Coombe. Coombe sends the ball towards full forward, and it's only going to go for the uh, minor score, and uh, Smithton kicking with the aid of whatever breeze there is, and kicking downhill. Uh, to what has been traditionally the scoring end must do something in this quarter if they're going to uh, have any impact upon this game. The ball comes to Scotty Knights off hands, but uh, he loses Peter French, who's played particularly well today. He goes in short. Ivanov tries to take the mark. Breck McMullen picks it up, screws the ball back towards Medwin. Over the top of Medwin goes the Penguin defender. The Smithton crowd cry for a free kick. It's not there. Uh, a rustle of players as the ball is fisted there over the boundary line by Howard. Scott Knights indicates that he'll take the tap, sends Berta Maguire back to full forward. He's going to tap with Allen and Tibby uh, and Allen 
uh, gets it, but it comes down towards Ralston. Allen uh, taps the ball forward again, comes down Lavelle, gets the ball towards O'Brien, cleverly trapped there by Hayden Nichols. He gets the hand pass to Ivanoff, a quick hand pass comes out wide towards Billing. Billing with the right foot hooks the ball, but he's uh, not hooked it anywhere near sufficiently and goes over the line and out of bounds. Well, while Smithton is showing a little bit of enterprise, they're certainly not doing anything uh, positive with the football at the moment. The ball comes in short and Fielding takes the mark. He plays on straight away in front of Ralston and sends the ball back towards Barrett in the centre of the ground. Underneath the ball, however, was Robbie Lavelle. He takes the mark, goes on with play quickly to the far side of the ground. Chris Reynolds has come down and it's the first time uh, Chris Reynolds has really got on top of Simpson for Smithton. In their last two or three encounters, the young lad's done well, but Reynolds certainly for mine has been on top today. Ball comes down and there's another player that's been well on top. In fact, without John Corbyshock, I think Smith will be 10 goals behind. But Bob, aren't they just a mark and kick side? Smith and uh, from the back line, no runners running past. And this has been a pattern of the game throughout the year. Well, they've had no small players today at all, Tyg. I think they've, uh, they've they've sadly missed those. They come down, and there's the mark and kick instance. And the kick was the mark was missed by uh, Maguire. Ivanov crashes his way through. Then he's unmercifully slung out of the pack when he was nowhere near the football. But uh, the umpire says that he'll bounce it. to turf. Oh, Tim Allen gets up well, gets it down to fielding. Fielding goes to the far side of the ground. They're playing the ground well, Ah uh, Penguin. Uh, Billing comes up, gets the ball down. Uh, Lockett has possession of the football, but his kick is uh, go, gets to Scott Knights. Scott Knights, however, can't, I don't think, keep the ball in play, and it's going to go... No, the boundary umpire says Scott Knights was out. And I think Scott Knights knew it. He yes. sort of hesitated. Uh, as I did too in my commentary. I thought he was out of bounds, even though I couldn't see from this distance. But Scotty Knight certainly hesitated, then went on with the game. The ball is kept in play. No, it's not. The boundary umpire says, throw it in. Well, Smith has certainly got to do something in the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes with the advantage of the breeze here at West Park. They trail by 23 points as Tim Allen picks the ball up. He's on top now on the ruck and out it goes. And I think that's Robbie Lavelle once again has marked. He's without doubt, I think, the best player of field at this stage as he puts the ball up towards Reynolds. And Reynolds right on top of Simpson now comes down. He hasn't kicked a lot of goals, Reynolds, but what a great contributor he's been. Reynolds has stabbed pass, comes out looking for a shot. Up he goes, unloaded, picked up the ball. Out it comes towards little Wilcox. He throws the ball out in front of him. His handball goes out looking for keep. Wilcox gets the ball, can't pick it up. Push in the back, says umpire Ude, and rightly so too, and it'll come out towards keep. Keep puts the ball up towards centre half forward, looking for Reynolds. Up goes the big fella Carpenter. He grabs it, picked up by French. He bangs it into towards the goal square. Up go the big men. Reynolds is up and he's marked it. A magnificent mark from the big fellow Chris Reynolds. And here's the difference between the sides as we saw the hand come out and Penguin playing on. And the big fellow Chris Reynolds, who's uh, I think kick three, is he Bob? Ivanoff coming off. Yes, Ivanoff off. Ah, well, he's had a tremendous flogging in the centre of the ground today, obviously carrying an injury, and on goes Corbishot. Well, uh, Reynolds has kicked one in, he comes in, lines up, and I tell you what, he's put two on the board now, and the Penguin are marching towards the 1985 grand final at this stage. Right, let's pick it up now in the centre of the ground as we see up by you put the ball up. Ward, you, uh, Ward gets a tap down, out it comes to Coombe, that's the first time Smithen's got the ball out of the centre for a while. Up it goes towards Maguire, he grabs the ball. Drops what he should have taken, handballs it out towards Coombe. He has a bang it towards the goals. There's one point only, but I'd say there's nearly got to be a, be a free kick behind the game or downfield. He was mercilessly unloaded, and I think that's Billing. Billing with the ball. I can't pick the player up over there. It's uh, Keith Billing, is it? No, it isn't Billing. It looks like it could be Little Coombe. There's a kick down the ground. It's going to Medwin. Medwin with the ball right in the teeth of goal now and there's no doubt he'll put the uh, Saints first goal but they need about five of these this first qu this third quarter and through it goes and Smith can go to six goals five they lead by trail by 23 points at the eight minute mark.
75th NWFU Grand Final and we see Penguin well in front. They lead by 23 points as they bounce down the centre of the ground and Smith then go forward again this time with a long kick forward by Nichols out towards the half forward line. Thorpe leads in the chase for the ball but brilliant play by the uh, Penguin defence as they push the ball towards the boundary. Breaking the tackle is Mitchell as he drives towards the centre wing position. Up high there was Lockett. He couldn't hold the ball and the ball goes towards the boundary line and the throw will take place on the true centre wing position on the far side of the ground and Ivanov back on the ground now. The Smith and Captain coming off for uh, for a few injections to uh, keep that injury quiet as the ball's thrown in on the far side of the ground. Allen was up high for Penguin. The ball hits the ground. Ralston coming through. Over to Billing. He's too slow. Caught with the ball, but he gets the hand pass towards Ward. The long kick down forward. Looking for Maguire. Howard comes from behind. Punches the ball away. Ball in the centre half forward position now for Smithton as the ball paddled away by Bonnie as he kicks towards the half back flank. Porky Brown in front of the pack. Billing from behind. Billing breaks one tackle. Gets the hand pass. It's a good one too. Smithton now to go forward. Looking for Maguire. And a big Full forward has dragged it in on the half forward line. Big Bird of Maguire, 35 metres out from goal. He's on a pretty difficult angle, Maguire, but he's kicked harder goals than this. And Smith and Badley need this one. They trail by 23 points, and we've played eight minutes in the third turn. Maguire, 35 metres out from goal, the drop punt kick on its way, the goal umpire rushing across, it's close, the Smith and fans are happy but it's offline and through for only one behind. So it's six goals, six, 42 Smithton to 10-4, 64 Penguin. Fielding will take the kick out now for Penguin. He'll drive it long towards the grandstand side of the ground. Allen leads towards the uh, position of the ball. McMullen's there with a chance. It comes over the back of the pack towards Coombe. Coombe grabs the ball. He tries to get round Allen, but the big fellow tackles him well. And uh, Allen throws the ball towards the boundary line. And the umpire will throw it in on half forward with Smithton into attack. Trailing by 22 points as the throw-in takes place. The umpire's picked out a free kick, and it's going to go to the big ruckman for Smithton in Ward. Neil Ward. Drive towards centre half forward to the lead of Maguire, but Lavelle, the best man on the ground, drops back, chips in and takes the mark in front of the leading Maguire. He'll go the drop punt kick now as he puts a little ball right up towards the centre of the ground. He's found Barrett. Simpson was slow. He could have uh, run right through Barrett there, but he just elected to go and stand on the mark as the ball kicked out wide. Looking for Howard. He's going to be met head on, but a courageous mark by Howard. He tries to break away. Passes towards Gale. He sets himself. Reynolds is there. Rows the pack. Drop punt on its way, and he's threaded it through. A goal to Reynolds, and Penguin go further in front. in the centre of the ground, brilliant play by Reynolds as Penguin go further in front as the ball punched down by the ever-reliable uh, Allen as he puts the ball down towards half forward. Howard's in there tackling Billing, the ball comes towards Coombe, his kick was smothered by his own teammate. The ball back with Lavelle now, he got a push in the back, Ivanoff in there battling for his side. Dragged off the ball when he didn't have it, McMullen's there, his kick towards centre half forward, but Fielding's there in defence and the experienced players now starting to settle Penguin down. They lead by 28 points as the kick goes out wide looking for Mitchell. Mitchell's been a great player. Can he get to the ball on this occasion? Lockett keeps it in. It comes back towards O'Brien. O'Brien breaks a few tackles, gets the ball back towards Mitchell and Penguin come forward again. The long kick up forward, looking for Reynolds. One hand at this time, he couldn't hold it. Korpashek's there in defence as he breaks one tackle, the fight's on behind the play. The ball on the half back line now for Smith and close to the boundary line and the throw will take place. 12 minutes gone in the third term. Penguin 11-4-70, Smith and 6 goal, 6-42. And Penguin holding on in this uh, very important third term. They'll kick with the wind in the last quarter. Smith the need to hit the front by three-quarter time as Carpenter comes from behind. Ward the man in front, it comes to Billing. He got rid of it like a hot potato. It comes back towards Barrett. And the Penguin Ruck Rover tries to break away. Very close to holding the ball. Howard gets the hand pass towards Hennessy. He's going to be in trouble. He breaks one tackle. Plenty of Penguin players there to back up as Bonnie traps it. He can't come through. Medwin using a lot of weight. He pushes the ball towards the centre wing position. One Penguin player against four and he holds onto the ball. Brilliant defensive play by... Uh, the uh, player on this occasion, Keep, and it's going to be on again here shortly. The umpire bounces it down. Good umpiring as the ball comes caught clear towards Laville. He tries to break away. His kick was smothered. It comes back towards Peter Korpashek, who spent the second quarter off the ground, and he takes the free kick for catching one high and a 15-metre penalty too, and he should drive it long. Maguire's down there on his own in the goal square. There's the kick. Maguire against Howard, a one-out duel. Maguire, the man in front, couldn't take it. It's rolling free on the goal square. Was it touched? Yes, it was one behind only. Goal on 
umpire raised both hands. The Smith and Crowd thought it was a goal, but he was signalling that the ball was being touched. So it's going to be fielding. He'll relieve the pressure now for Penguin. The veteran of probably six grand finals. He kicks the ball towards centre wing. Barrett was from behind and he gave away the free kick. And Korpashek will have the kick now from only 45 metres out. The big centre half forward for Smithton. He's coming around. He's come around about 10 yards. He'll be directly in front if he keeps this up. I'd be pushing, back, pushing him back to the boundary if I was Barrett. And here he is, Korpashek now, 45 metres out. Looks like he'll go for a torpedo punt. He has. He's put it right up towards full four, but he's offline. And the ball goes through for only one behind. They badly needed that goal, Smithton. There's six goals, eight. And they trail Penguin, 11 goals, four. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I was only joking. But you're not, you're not, you're not trying for Smith. Well, as Shane said, desperate times for Smithton as Billy Fielding uh, plays on, then goes to the far side of the ground. He's going to look for and find Mitchell over there, who's uh, no, it's Howard on this occasion. Both Mitchell and Howard have dominated on that side of the ground. The ball comes back where a good strong mark's taken there for Smithton uh, by Coombe. Coombe sends the ball, he's looking for Maguire or Scotty Knight. Scotty Knight's in the middle of the pack, Maguire from behind, it's tapped forward, it's like volleyball out there at the moment. It comes down, Billing tries to trap the ball, he does so, but oh, how it gets to him with no worries at all. And Billing has been revealed as uh, lacking a yard, certainly on today's performance, whether the boy's carrying a bit of an injury. But none of the Smith and Small of a grade have uh, set anything alight at the moment. Korpershock, who's back on the ground with perhaps something to prove. He uh, gets the ball, smothers the kick from French, does well. Coombe dives in on top of the football, gets grabbed around the neck and will take the uh, free kick. Smithton done a lot of the attacking, but uh, without much aim, rhyme nor reason. And the Penguin defence have held them so far this quarter. Coombe's kick is up towards Maguire and a superb mark taken by Tony Maguire. 15 metre penalty to boot as the ball wasn't given back and uh, let's face it uh, he doesn't miss too many Tony Maguire doesn't uh, the, arguably the one of the better full forwards on the coast and from 8 metres out he kicks with that remarkably stabbing kick of his straight through the centre goal number 4 to Tony Maguire and uh, goal number 7 to the Saints and certainly an understatement they needed it 15 scoring shots apiece, but Penguin have had by far the easier use of the ball. Ward comes in as the corporate shot gets the tap. Uh, Wilcox gets it, has it smothered, recovers well as good football from Wilcox. Then he loses it. Finally, Ivanov gets a hurried run forward to Maguire. Well, the Smithton crowd have been um, sort of saying, uh, can there be a revival on every time Penguin have answered? Maguire. Certainly one of Smithton's keys. That's a magnificent kick. The goal umpire makes position and he's about to raise both fingers. He does. Goal number five to the birder. And uh, perhaps the Saints starting to move forward. They're now only 16 points in arrears. Well, as Shane said a moment ago, that's still not enough for the Saints. Um, they certainly need three or four more goals uh, because uh, Penguin will have what breeze there is. Maguire's out on the ball now. Uh, but Penguin are going forward, comes to Simpson. Simpson on one of the few occasions that he's beaten uh, Reynolds today, but his kick goes out where O'Brien's having a birthday on that wing. O'Brien back uh, through centre half forward. Reynolds uh, tapped away from Simpson. Howard comes back to Simpson. Simpson goes in very short to Billing. Billing is Todgers turns, then gets it to Ivanoff in the centre. I'm certain he's carrying an angle. He goes long down, and the mark's taken by Ward. Smithton have kicked the last two. This could be three and make the difference. Eight points. Ward kicks. It's straight through the middle. And uh, for Neil Ward, that's goal number one. And there's eight points in the football game. Well, the pressure on now in the 1985 NWFU Grand Final. Penguin holding a handy break only minutes ago. 
But Maguire has uh, lifted uh, Smith and he's kicked a couple and also been instrumental in the ruck now as Maguire takes the ball out of the air. Smith and trailing by eight points and we've played 19 minutes in the third term. Still, Smith would want to get a few goals in front too. They're kicking with the aid of the Brews and they're kicking downhill. And Penguins still holding a handy eight-point lead. But they need a goal now to steady as the ball's bounced down. Carpenter up high, he'll get a free kick. Cop one too high, Carpenter, and he takes the ball in the centre of the ground. Penguin needing to steady now. Carpenter looking for a handball, but he's going to be forced to kick. Whether he's forgotten how to do it or not, we're not sure. There's the reason why. A poor kick towards centre-half forward. Ivanov panicked under pressure. He took his eyes off the ball. And uh, the umpire races in and will bounce it down with Penguin slightly to attack. And Ivanov is down and uh, has it moved. And Ivanov certainly in trouble now. Smith and trainers coming from everywhere. Off a much needed player in the Smithton lineup. He gets to his feet, very groggy indeed. No doubt about it, the Penguin player had the chance, he would have driven him right into the dirt, and he's done so. And he doesn't look too good, but he sent the trainers away as the bounce down takes place. And Korpershock trying to lift his side, caught run too high in the ruck. And Korpershock takes the free kick at centre half back, and he goes long towards centre half forward. Knight the chance, he's too tall for the opposition, it comes to the back of the pack. Coon tries to break away, he's at centre half forward. The kick, he's landed in the goal square, it's offline, and one behind only. So it's nine goals, nine now, Smithton, and they trail Penguin 11 4 70. 63 plays 70. And the Saints are on a roll now. Can they get up? Kick out taken by Fielding as he drives the ball towards Hennessy, who's out on centre wing. The ball drifts across the back of the pack. Hennessy's there, keeps the ball in play, breaks one tackle, gets around the second tackle, and then is quite relieved to see the boundary umpire standing there with his hand aloft. And he'll throw the ball in on half four. There it is. Ward from behind gets the tap down towards Medwin. He's been a quiet player, but he uh, gives away the free kick on this occasion. And it's going to be taken by Bonnie on the half back line. Bonnie now, he's been a great player in defence for Penguin. He looks for the player short, and that's Wilcox. And Wilcox marks, trying to steady down the Blues. Wealth of experience, Wilcox. Howard goes in short, but he's going to kick it long this time as Wilcox transfers the ball towards the centre wing position. Plenty of players up high. Ivan off the chance. He's on the bottom of the pack once again. He caught one high on the umpire. A little quick to give away the free kick this time, but Ivan off. He's certainly not going to worry about that, and he'll take the free on the centre wing position. Ivan off now. Gets the hand pass. Good intelligent play there by Nichols. He knows his captain coach is in trouble. And the long kick goes out wide looking for Gray. But he couldn't take the ball and punching it away brilliantly in defence is Mitchell. He punches the ball towards the boundary line then leads in the chase for the ball. Nearly knocks over the examiner cameraman who was watching the crowd and not the ball. And nearly got shirt fronted on the, ground, on the, uh, on the bike track. So there's the throw in taking place. Maguire against Carpenter. Maguire gets the tap down. It goes to the bottom of the pack. Gray's caught without the ball, but the umpire allowing the play to go on. And uh, finally, the ball dribbles out of play. And another throw will take place on centre wing. 22 minutes gone in the third turn. Penguin 70 leading Smithland 63 as the throw in takes place. Korpershock takes the ball out of the air. Smithland now starting to run with the ball, looking for Medwin, and he's marked at centre half forward. Rodney Medwin the player short in Nichols, the beautiful pass finds Nichols and he's only 40 metres out from goal and the Penguin defence now is starting to let the Smith and players run loose. The 24 year old Hayden Nichols. Can he put Smith and closer only trailing by one point he's done it a drop punt kick on its way there's only one point the difference and we've played 24 minutes in the third quarter and Penguin 11 goals 470. And they lead Smithen, who have now gone on to 69. They're 10 goals, 9, 69. And what a great finish we're going to have here. 23 minutes gone in the third term. And Smithen have fought back from being five goals down, and there's only one point the difference. The 10,000-plus crowd going wild now. Smithen get back within one point as the balls bounce down. McGuire up high again. He gets the ball down. Carpenter's there. Gets the hand pass towards Hennessy. Hennessy doesn't know which way to go. He uses plenty of time. And he swings on the left foot. And he drives towards Reynolds at centre-half forward. Simpson in front. Pushes the ball along in front of him. O'Brien breaks through brilliantly. Gets the hand pass towards the match winner, Lavelle. The drop punt kick on its way. It looks good. It is. And Penguin are now seven points in front. 25 minutes gone. In the third quarter as Maguire gets the tap down out towards Corpershot. 
He can't pick the ball up. Finally, Carpenter does so. Gets it out, but it's intercepted by McMullen. He gives it a corner shot. Corner shot goes forward, looking for Guy Gray. It's thumped away from that player. Out comes uh, Howard. He's unloaded by Medwin. Medwin gives it across towards Billy Fielding. He's unloaded. Out it comes towards Carpenter. Here's handball out to French. He's been a good player for the Blues today. Out it comes once again towards the little fella on the boundary line, and it's Coombe. Smothered in there by Trevor Howard. Comes back to Lee Bonney. Lee Bonney's kick relieves the pressure for the Blues as it goes towards centre half forward. Up they go. Reynolds has got the run of the ball again, but the ball beats all and sundry over the boundary line and out of bounds. The danger man, Reynolds. He's in line for the ball as the Blues lead by seven points. Not much win. seen Reynolds play as well on the ground as he's playing today. He's playing a superb game on the ground. Chris Reynolds is playing a great game of football. He's coming right down from goal. He's got them in trouble. Trying the ball out to Ivanov. Ivanov's handball comes out to Lockett. He goes through the centre of the ground. Sheer desperation by the Blues. Gives it back to Barrett. Barrett back to O'Brien. And O'Brien takes the free kick with the Blues into attack. The big crowd here hooting, which I thought was a rightful decision by the umpire. Out towards Reynolds. Gets his hands on the ball. But Simpson outpoints him on this occasion. Takes the Saints forward down towards the centre wing. In a try change player, Guy Gray comes on the ground. He gives it back to Rolf. Rolson dummies round a player, put under pressure, puts the ball back towards Scott Knight, leading would be Bonnie. He gives it to Carpenter. Carpenter comes back towards Bonnie. Rodney Medwin in front for the ball, can't pick it up. Dumped in the back of the neck, down he goes, but the umpire, Wayne Newt, says, give it to me, fellas, I'm going to ball it up. Tension at fever pitches, we see this drama unfolding before our eyes here at West Park today. Out it goes towards Howard, he's a good player. Out it goes towards Lockett, he fumbles the ball over the boundary line and out of bounds at the 27 minute mark of the third quarter. Penguin lead, 76 to 69, 12-4, the Smith and Saints 10-9. About a two goal breeze at uh, the advantage to the Bernie end on this occasion as the ball's thrown in, out it goes towards Ivanov. He can't pick up the ball. Finally done so by Little Coombe. He puts the ball over the boundary line and out of bounds on the full. And the free kick will go down there and it'll go towards Keep. Keep with the ball across the half back line now. His left foot kick will go. It's not Keep, it was French. His left foot kick goes up towards the centre line position and over the boundary line. It was thumped away by the big fellow Carpenter. And Carpenter now playing in the ruck for the Blues, interchanging with Tim Allen and the Blues ruckman on top at this stage. In they come, up goes Carpenter, gets the tap down once again and goes out towards French. French gives it back towards Ralston. He gives it quite cross towards Coombe. Coombe's kick goes down towards Guy Gray. He picks the ball up, thumps the ball back towards centre half forward. Up goes Scott Knights. He can't hold the ball. It comes back towards McMullen. McMullen spins on the left foot, looking for the short pass, and back it goes towards Medwin. And Medwin marks the ball at the 55 metre mark. Medwin with the ball now. Crikey me, can he kick the distance in? He comes now, puts the foot to the ball. It goes up the big crowd down the goal square, a hollering because it's six points on the board to the Saints. A point the difference in the grand final at West Park. Four minutes into time on. One point in the game in what's turned out to be a tremendously exciting uh, third quarter. Ball to turf. Maguire, who's played a superb game for the Saints, uh, gets the ball down to Corbishock. The Saints go forward again. Comes down towards Wards underneath the ball. Can't mark the ball at the second attempt. The Penguin defence has been uh, truly outstanding, but he's caught with the ball too high, says umpire Ahern. And the free kick will go back there towards Bonnie. Bonnie sending the ball out towards Mitchell, who swaps sides. And Mitchell, oh, interfered with by Ralston. And uh, it's got to go back there. Quite correctly, uh, Ralston came in and uh, pushed Mitchell, and Mitchell takes the free kick. Sends the ball towards the wing position. Maguire dropping back. It's fisted away by Keddy. Comes down there towards Nichols. Nichols goes towards centre half four, looking for Gray, but chipping in there's O'Brien, who's done well for Penguin. Gets it down towards Billy Fielding. He can't get to it. It comes back to Bonnie, uh, and uh, Bonnie sends the ball towards centre half four to Reynolds, who uh, I thought did enough to take the mark. Tim Allen gets it across to Wilcox. Wilcox drives the ball forward at Corpershock. An outstanding player in defence. For Smithton. He clears the ball to the far side of the ground. Standing there is Ralston on his own. He breaks clear, then uh, almost gets a trip, and the ball uh, 
goes back to Peter French, who's going to slow things down. In actual fact, the siren's gone. And that three-quarter time, the scores. Penguin, 12-4-76 to Smithton, 11-9-75. The only reason they've been able to run over the top of spellers is because we've let them. We've let them back into the game yeah. without giving a yelp. We've got so much riding on it. There's so much at stake, fellas. We've got a buddy grind ourselves in the quarter. The breeze is not going to do it for us. We've got to work it hard. We've got to make every opportunity, every time we get possession of the ball, we've got to do something with it, all right? We've got a bloody fight to the now. We've got to battle. We've got to do everything we possibly can. Because this is what it's all for. A grand final, fellas. There's so much hanging at the end of it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Too much to just bloody wait and throw away. If I've ever I've asked any one of you boys to do anything for me or this club, I'm asking now. Come on, come on, on fellas, from 110 percent effort in this quarter to do it for ourselves, for our club. Now, come on, let's get out. Come on, 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 come